But I have a lot on my mind. I have a lot that I want to talk about. And I hope, hope that you guys want to hang out with me for a little bit. If you're hopping on, say hi so I know you're here. Um, like I was saying, I have a lot that I want to talk about. There's a lot going on. Um, and I just want to get some things off my chest. I want to, you know, share with you guys that life isn't always what it seems to be on social media. So you may see a cute picture or a happy face or a funny cute video and you might think like, oh, that person has their life together. That person, you know, is on top of the world. Um, but you never really know what anyone is going through um, on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, so anyways, I just wanted to share a little bit. There's a lot going on in the world right now, and it's given me a really heavy heart. I'm a very sensitive person, um, and it just I just want to talk about it, and we can chat about it. If you guys have any comments or anything that's going on with you, I'd love to hear um, what you guys are doing today or have going on, but um, I don't know if you guys know. I'm from, well, my name is Izzy, Isabel, if you guys aren't personally friends with me, um, but I do live in Minneapolis, Minnesota, um, and there is a lot going on here in our community right now. Hey guys, let me know you're here if you're watching. So yes, we will be getting ready, but I do also have a lot that I want to talk about. Um, I live in Minneapolis, and there is a lot going on in my community right now. Um, George Floyd, hey Cameron. George Floyd was murdered um, about a mile from my house a couple months ago. And it's been hard um, in this community. It's been hard in the country, in the world, like dealing with the injustices and um, then the riots that came afterwards. People are tired. People want their voices to be heard. And I may be a small person, I may be just me, I'm just a regular everyday person, but I know that there are some people, there's three people watching right now, there are some people listening and watching, and I want you to know that your voice matters, and that if you feel something is wrong, or if you feel something is bad, you can step up and say something, and you have a voice to make a difference. So, George Floyd was murdered. Um, there was a lot of riots that happened. I lived down the street from our entire community was burned down. Um, and so we're trying to rebuild that. We're trying to get back on track. There's been a lot of crime here lately, and it's been scary. Um, it's understandable, in my opinion, why the riots happened um, in the first place. People are tired. People want their voices to be heard. They say enough is enough, and I hear you. And black lives do matter. And if that is a problem, and if that is something that you don't believe in, you can delete and block me now, because black lives do matter and will forever matter. Um, all lives will not matter until black lives matter, period. And if you don't agree with that, you can leave. But anyway, so that happened. Thank you, Brandy. And now, um, yes, Brandy, for real, black lives matter all day, every day. Um, but now here in Minneapolis, there was another riot last night because of some misinformation. Um, I do understand to some extent why it started. Um, I don't condone damage. I don't condone violence. I don't condone any of that. Um, so I do feel like it's getting out of hand. And it's just sad to see, like, my town, my city, this is where I live to be, you know, falling apart, so to speak so to speak. And if my words are jumbled, I'm sorry. I'm emotional. I'm an emotional person, but I'm just speaking from my heart. This is how I feel today. And I just want you guys to know that social media is something that people use to kind of show their happy moments or their, um, you know, the good things in their lives. They don't always share the realness. And 
this is the real this is real life people i'm a real person and i go through things i i live in a community that's broken right now there are people that are living in a hurricane right now who are scared you know their house might not make it they might not have a home they might not have a town you know you never know what anybody else is going through um so i'm saying all that to say be kind be kind to one another we are all human beings hey john we are all humans we are all one this is the human race we are all equal um so treat one another with kindness and respect and decency and just know that somebody might have a story that you aren't aware of and so you might be having a, a, bar a bad day but they might be having a bad day too so just try to treat everyone with kindness and be a good person love you too john thank you <laughs> so with all that being said thank you hannah i try um i'm not a perfect person either i i'm not gonna lie like i have my moments hey joe thanks for the love um i have my moments i have days where i can be a b word um because i just have my my days you know thanks joe i love you um you know, my kids get on my nerves and piss me off or, you know, I'm, I have a short temper or, or a, um, my patience is, is short. But that doesn't mean that I still need to be a kind person. And I, that's something that I need to work on. I mean, I need to practice what I preach. We all do. Um, I, I just want you guys all to lend a hand and be kind to one another. That, that's what I'm asking. There's a lot going on in the world right now. 2020 is bringing to light a lot of things for our country for our world and we need to come together and be the voice of the future we are the future if we're if you're a parent if you have kids raise your children right raise your kids to love one another and to love others and be helpful and be kind and all of the things okay so on that note Let's do our makeup and get ready for the day because my kids are napping and I have a moment. I just took a shower. I'm feeling refreshed. So let me know if you have any questions or if you have anything to share. <sighs> Sorry, I just had to get that off my chest. It is what it is. You know, I got to keep it real. I'm going to be me. Hey, Angelina. I'm going to be me. And if people don't like it, so be it. You know, you can kick rocks, but people need to be nice and kind period. I won't tolerate anything other than that. So I'm putting on some primer right now. What are you guys up to? What are you guys doing today? I have a free moment. My kids were driving me crazy today. Oh my gosh, it started off early. My friend came by to pick up a book that I ordered for her because we're doing this book club. And um, oh my god. My kids just busted through the door. They were running around outside. It's like not even 10 a.m. And my baby, who's one, not even one and a half, well, one and a half. No, he's not even one and a half. He literally busts out the door, runs to the backyard, and gets in the pool from yesterday. I had the pool filled up. And he's just dripping wet in the pool that was rained in last night. We had, we had rain here last night, and so I'm just... Like really, this is how the day is gonna go already. So, and then they're of course crazy and I don't know, maybe my my baby, the, he's 18 months, Her, his name's Harrison. I feel like maybe he's uh, getting some teeth in the back because he has all of his front teeth now, but um, I don't know. He's just been really crabby, really crabby lately. Um, if you guys are hopping on, say hi, give me some love, let me know you're here. Tell me how your day's going. You know, I do like to come on here too. I always get nervous like right before I hop on live because I'm like, oh my God, what am I doing? People aren't gonna watch, people aren't gonna like me. But it's kind of therapeutic in a sense because I feel like I can just talk and I can just do my makeup and I feel like this is my me time and I'm take care taking care of myself and we need to take care of ourselves in order to be able to take care of others, so. I don't know. I, I've just really been liking it lately. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Okay, so I'm gonna do my brows. Um, I usually like to brush them out first just to kind of get them going all in the right direction. Like I said, I put that primer on first. Here we 
we go. And then I'm going to use um, just like an angled brush like this with my brow pomade. This is the dark brown. What are you guys up to today? Looks like it got sunny out. It was kind of gloomy this morning. Maybe we'll go hang out. Hey, Jesse. Maybe we'll go hang outside a little later. Um, my kids have been getting these really bad bug bites lately. I don't know what they are. My son, my older son, who's three, Jackman. Hey, thank you so much for watching, Jesse. Thank you. Um, so I like to fill in the ends here first, just to kind of get those like darker. And then do like a little line here under. And then we'll kind of um, brush that in and kind of ombre it, I guess. Um, or <laughs> fade it. I don't know what the technical term is, but just kind of make it look a little bit more natural. Hey, um, <laughs> thank you guys. Yes, talk to me, please, because I don't want to be like, I mean, I'll talk to myself. Don't get me wrong, but let's have a combo. Let's, <laughs> let's talk about something. Um, but yeah, my kids, so my three-year-old, he, yesterday we were outside for not even like 30 minutes. We were out by the, like, pool. I have, um, I bought this backdrop from Amazon. So I got, it's like a, let me see if I can show you. So it's like a backdrop stand. It's like a stand and a backdrop. Thank you. Yeah, Jackman and Harrison. Those are my boys. And then I have a stepson who's 15. His name is Morgan. Um, but we get him every other week. Um, but anyway, we were in the backyard yesterday just for a very short time. And I put sunscreen on their faces, you know, because it was sunny out. Um, Angelina, I can send you a link um, when I get off of here of exactly what I got. Because somebody else asked me that before and I just was able to send the link. Um, and all of a sudden I look over and Jackman has this like big red mark on his face. And I'm like, did you already get sunburnt this quick? And I get up closer and he has this huge like welt right under his eye. Thank you. Thanks for the love. He has a huge welt under his eye and there's like a bite here and a bite here. And I'm like, did you get stung by a bee? What happened? I, I don't know. So we brought him inside and we just like put some ice on it. And he didn't seem like he was upset or it was like hurting him at all. If you ever, so you see here how I have like a little mess up. I can either wipe that off, but I go over it afterwards and clean it up with concealer. So if I ever like overdraw it or it looks a little crazy, we'll fix it. Um, so today, anyway, so he was fine all day. And then today when he woke up, his, it's like so swollen here. His his eye, I don't know. He's saying it's not bothering him and I was gonna call, I did call the um, like the nurse line but there was like 10 people ahead of me and I was on hold for a long time and it was like, you, there are seven people ahead of you and I was already on hold for a long time and it doesn't seem to be bothering him or itching him or hurting. So I'm just gonna kind of keep an eye on it but I don't know what it is. I don't think it was a bee because I got stung by a bee couple weeks ago and that hurt and he he didn't say like you know that he was in any pain or anything yes huge bug bites oh my gosh what is happening it's happening so quick too even me like I don't normally get bothered by bug bites at all but lately I've been getting tore up I don't know what it is and my mom is usually the one who's like really sensitive to bug bites, she gets, they're, they're attracted to her for some reason, and it, I think it's because she eats a lot of candy. She's a, She has a sweet tooth. Um, so now I'm going to take my brush and kind of just brush this up here. Yes, it's a different kind of, I don't know what it is. I know there are no seums. Hi, Kirsten. Oh, you're in North Carolina. Hey, Mona. Yes, I don't know what, I feel like, you guys, 2020, there's something every year. Oh my God, I was just telling my best friend, because she came over um, this morning to pick up a book that I ordered for her. We're like in this book club. Um, a couple of weeks ago, my mom, my mom lives with us, if you guys didn't know. She has a basement apartment here in our house, but she, um, she was like, you guys, there's these big holes in our front yard. What, what's going on? We have like, a little bit of a, a very short hill in the front that leads to the sidewalk and then we have you know a couple steps that go down and there's these huge like holes like five or six of them in our grass like right by the sidewalk and she's like what are these what are these and so we were like looking at them one night and um sorry this does not normally take me this long but I'm talking a lot so it is what it is <laughs> 
so we were like, so then we started looking at them. It's like seven o'clock at night, and um, my husband grabs like a stick and starts jabbing it in one of the holes, and we're like looking in there. All of a sudden, a bee, this big, I don't, I don't know if you can see the size, but this big comes out of it. I'm not joking you when I say it was that big. A bee. I was like, oh my god, it's a murder hornet. 2020, it's happening. Hey, Amanda. I was like freaked out. So we're, <laughs> it was crazy. So anyway, we looked it up. It turned out it was, it's called a cicada killer wasp. And they're in August, August, I think maybe September, cicadas come out. And so I guess what they do is like, they'll get the cicadas and either sting them or something and then bring them into yes girl and they'll bring them into their like hive and just like torture them not kill them but just torture them and like feed off of them for their kids or something like their babies i don't know you guys but it was really weird and there was a whole bunch of hives like right around here murder hornets giant bees whatever i was not having it Anyway, so this is going to be good enough because I don't have time to, like, do my brows for an hour. They're sisters, not twins, okay? Okay. So then I just brush it here. Want to make sure that they're going in the right direction. Again, the um, concealer will help clean it up. So I'll take my concealer here, and let's see if I can find a little brush. I'll use This is one of our new brushes that we got. Um, it came in, like, a little set of five. It's like a flat brush. I'll just use that. This is the silence of the lambs. Oh my gosh, yes. Speaking of that, that's one of my favorite movies, The Silence of the Lambs. My mom said she saw like a really weird moth the other day. It was like black. I don't know, you guys, something. The world is coming to an end. <laughs> oh, it's just crazy. You gotta try to make the most of it, I guess. But anyway. That's my story about these killer bees. All right, so that's gonna be good enough for now. We can always go back and touch it up later if we want, but. All right, so now I'm gonna do my eyes and I'm gonna use uh, my eye primer. What are you guys up to today? Show me some love. Let me know what's going on. Let's see if I can find my eye primer. Hi, Tina. What are you doing, girl? You guys, my friend Tina lives in, I think you live in Florida, right? She just got this beautiful home. She's got it all decked out. She's got her own, like, shoe company. Hey, Crystal. Thanks for watching. Okay, I can't find my eye primer. Wait, maybe it's right here. Is this it? Yes. So this is the eye primer. I'm just gonna put this right on my eyes and I'm gonna use that same brush that I use for my eyebrows. Crystal, what are you doing? Are you at work right now? Are you guys watching me from work? Or are you working from home like me? If not, I can tell you how to work from home. I'm just saying. You guys, I never thought working, yeah. <laughs> I never thought I could be doing what I literally love, which is playing with makeup from home while, you know, being able to be home with my kids and make money and meet people at all at the same time. Like, I'm literally in shock with what this company is doing for my life. I just started a few months ago. Well, not a few months ago. It's my first month. Oh, thanks, Crystal. I appreciate it. You can finish watching later. Um, I'll have the replay um, up and you can watch that if you have time. Um, so I have the eye primer on here now. I'm gonna just let that set for a second. Thanks boo, love you. Okay, so um, anyway, you guys, I've never... <laughs> oh, you have a sty on your eye? Oh my gosh, I've never had one of those. That's, ugh, that sucks. Um, but you guys, I'm literally able to do what I love, which is play in makeup, meet new people, have fun, make silly videos, and I'm having a ball and meeting people, and I'm getting paid to do it. I'm, I'm, everything that I buy is 50% off, and you get 50% commission on everything you sell. Like, 
I, I didn't know that was ever a thing. I mean, there were other companies that I kind of looked into joining for a long time before I found pharmacy, and I'm like shocked. Like, I just love it. Yeah, I don't even know how you get, like, how, do you, how does this dye in your eye happen? Anyway, I just want you guys to know, like, 2020 is crazy, and I was working part-time. I'm, I'm pretty much a stay-at-home mom, if you want to call it that. And um, I'm going to use yellow today. Why not? And uh, I was working part-time, but once COVID hit, that kind of stopped. And so I wanted to find a way to start doing something for me, which is, you know, I wanted to do makeup, fashion, something along those lines for a long time. I, I, I love playing in makeup and trying out new looks. Um, thank you. And when I came across pharmacy, I was just like, wait, 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 what is this? First of all, 50% off. I was like, okay, your girl's trying to save some money. Because, like I said, I have been out of work since March. But not only is it 50% off, but now I'm making 50% off what I sell. Like, yes, please. And I'm meeting so many amazing people along the way. Like, you guys, I've only known these people for a few weeks. But I just feel like it's a total sisterhood. Like, we are so supportive of one another. We are cheering each other on. It's just like a whole tribe of women who want to make it happen and want to build a life for themselves and for their families. And it's just wonderful. If you have any questions or if you're interested in doing something similar, please let me know. I would be happy to answer questions or if you have any questions about like any of the products that I use in my videos, let me know. So yeah, I'm going kind of crazy today, <laughs> as you can see. Um, I am using, so the only thing I, I probably won't, that won't use, that's pharmacy. Does that make sense? Is This is the Jaclyn Hill palette. I just wanted to use like a, a yellow eyeshadow, and that's the first one that I saw. So I'm just packing that all on, and then I'm going to do like a gold in the middle, I think. Yes, this makeup, like, honestly, I was kind of skeptical at first, like, everybody's saying, like, oh my gosh, it's so amazing, it's so amazing, but, you know, people say that because it's their company and they want to sell it, and so I was like, okay, let's just wait and see, so I kind of actually didn't start announcing it until I actually got the products, and when I got the products, I was like, okay, these are affordable, but the quality is, like, really good i i was really impressed and i haven't used anything other since um so i don't feel like bad talking about the products because it's like they're legit i, I don't know you got to try it for yourself i'm telling you if you have questions if you want to try anything let me know because it's life-changing it really is okay so now i'm going to put this like golden color this is called um, this is our long last creamy eyeshadow. This is called Golden Dust. I'm just going to use my finger and put that in the middle. Look at that. Yes, the quality, I mean, it's surprising. I have, I have so much, I, I mean, I wish I could show you guys, like, the amount of makeup I have right here. I have a huge desk, and it's just filled with makeup, and I haven't used anything other than pharmacy in the last month because the quality is just it's top notch I mean we are getting new products in soon like we are going to be getting some bigger eyeshadow palettes as you can see I'm kind of an eyeshadow girl I like to try out fun colors um, we're going to be getting a palette that has 18 colors and then another two palettes that have 12 colors in them so I'm super excited about that we have false lashes coming which is huge so there's so many things that are coming within the next couple of months that are going to take our company like to the next level. Like we are newly like in the United States. This is a company that's been around for a long time, but we're kind of newly in the United States and we're going to take off and I'm so excited to be like already in the company and like building a name for myself. Not that I'm like big time right now at all <laughs> but I'm just like really excited and really proud of 
my journey and where I'm starting and I hope like you know hopefully you guys are along for the ride and you'll see like where I go it's just exciting exciting things are coming people I'm excited we were we had a um, group meeting we have a group meeting every um, week me and the um, other girls and my team which is so fun like like I said the support in this company and in our team is just amazing it's wonderful I just feel like so supported and so loved and I, I don't know it's just great I haven't felt this way really ever in any job that I've had I feel like I belong and there's been a lot of places where I just don't feel comfortable and I don't feel like myself I feel like I have to be quiet or I have to I don't know I just always feel like I don't fit in but I feel like I belong here and it's just I love it I love it I can't talk enough good things about it <laughs> um, if you guys are on say hello let me know you're here um, okay so now we're gonna move on to our face because I just keep rambling I can't stop talking <laughs> I'll do my eyelashes and I don't know if I'm gonna do liner because I'm not that great at it we'll see so lately I've been mixing the Stay Matte Foundation and the CC Cream. I just really like the finish of it. Um, so I'm going to put a little bit of CC Cream here. This is the medium to dark. I am a little bit tanner than I am normally, I should say, because I did go tanning. And this is the 04, which is a little bit, I feel like, has a little bit more of a pink undertone, which I have. Um, so anyway, back to what I was saying because I forget... I was talking too much. Thanks, Jesse. Okay. All right. Catch the rest later. Love you, girl. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to tap this on. This is our new pharmacy sponge, which I'm loving. Um, but we had a Zoom meeting yesterday with the team, and we were just talking about so much fun stuff to come, and um, with the holidays coming up soon, well, in a couple months. But, it's you know, we're going into fall here. We're going to start doing some fun, like, Halloween looks, which I'm so excited about. I've never done, like, a fantasy or, like, real, like, costumey um, makeup look. So I'm, like, excited to start trying out some of those. I do bring my foundation onto my ear and then down my neck, too, just to make sure it's all blended in and looking um, the same. Sorry, I can't. I can't talk and do this at the same time, apparently. So I, I uh, tap this all in. Sorry, I can't talk for some reason and do this. I'm gonna add just, a, well, I have some still here. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of exciting things coming in the next couple of months um, with the company and with me and my team so if you guys have any questions let your girl know i'd be happy to help i'd be happy to answer any questions um i've been talking to some people too and getting some ideas and i think i'm going to try to make some um fall like bundles for people um i feel like sometimes like going on a website and ordering kind of blindly people get a little overwhelmed and so I'm gonna put together some bundles of like a few items like at a certain price for people I feel like that might be easier for them to order um, I do also have my website linked if you want to check out any products okay so <laughs> that's that so now I'm gonna put on this concealer um, I use this concealer as a highlight so this concealer is obviously very different shade than the rest of my face, but I'm using that in a lighter shade to highlight. Um, I do sometimes use like a color correcting stick before I do my foundation, so I could have done that first, but I kind of forgot. <laughs> um, but we have this, it's called the soft orange stick, so I've been using that sometimes before I put on my foundation kind of to hide any redness or um, like if you have any breakouts or if you have any areas that are discolored you can put that on first and that will help um, just somewhat color correct the area before you put on your foundation and then it kind of just all looks smooth 
All right, so I'm putting on my highlighter here. So we look crazy for a while. Hey, Janice. Thanks, boo. Oh, thank you for the love. Thanks, Angelina. Yeah, I do think bundles are a good idea. I just feel like people, they're like, oh, I can get this, 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 and this for this amount. Ooh, sign me up. You know what I mean? So I'm going to try to figure it out. I've got, I've got so many ideas. I swear I stay up like super late. My husband passes out super early, but I stay up super late. And I have all these ideas swirling around. Thank you, boo. Swirling around in my head. And I'm like, um, what can I do? What, you know, how can I level up? How can I help other women? What can I do to, like, inspire people? I, I just want to be the best version of myself and help people at the same time. Keeps it simple with bundles. Yeah. So we'll see. I just have so many ideas and so many things I want to do. I'm like, man, I don't have enough hours in the day. <gasps> hey, Dorothy! Ah, oh, Dorothy. I love you, girl. I love you. I don't know what else to say other than I love you and I miss you. <laughs> Are you mad? Who sent the mad face? Okay, so that's all blended in. Janice, you're a night person? I know! It's hard because I'm a night person too. Like, oh, I hate waking up in the morning, but it just is my life now with kids. But I get like this second wind at the end of like in the evening and my husband is just like passing out on the couch and I'm just like, I've got so many ideas. I have so many things I want to do. And I, what about this? And what, and he's like passed out and I'm just like, okay, I don't want to have all the lights on and be doing all this work, but I just level up Dorothy thank you girl okay so now I'm gonna do my contour I could have done it before but you know what whatever there's no rules I'm just I'm just winging it today because I'm talking a lot I don't know if you guys caught the early part of my video um <clears throat> but watch the replay if you didn't because I really spoke some truth I talked about what was on my heart there's a lot going on in the world right now and in my community I live in Minneapolis and I have a platform and I want to use my voice for good. I want to use my voice for empowering women. But I also want to speak my truth and speak um, what I feel is right. So that's, that was the beginning part of the video. If you missed it, check it out. All right, so now I'm just doing contour. At four in the afternoon, you get motivated. I know, I have to have like a little siesta and then a little like snack or something and then I'm like okay let's do this <laughs> um so yeah I just did my contour um I do contour under my jaw because I want to get rid of the double chin and then I do it on my um cheekbones thank you Janice yes I am trying to be my authentic self because that's all I can be I you know for too long I feel like I not dumbed myself down, but I feel like I let my voice kind of lose itself or lose myself, I guess, and not speak my true self. And um, I know that I have a voice and I know that what I have to say matters. And I know that some people can't speak up for themselves and they can't, um, you know, express themselves how they would like and so I feel like I want to help and be that person to spread love and spread awareness to some things that are going on that need to be changed it happens when we become <laughs> oh my gosh you guys my kids are just giving me a run for my money lately hi Anna how we doing people let me know you're here say hello give me some love um if you're not already um i have this we're watching on my um this is my personal page um i do have a business page called izzy rock beauty please go like and follow my page um and then i also have um my instagram izzy rock so follow me if you don't already i show you know i just share fun um videos makeup tutorials and pictures of my life sometimes but um I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me 
I just love makeup. I love talking about life and all the good stuff. Okay, so now I have my contour blended for the most part. And my highlight, we're looking kind of cute, right? Kind of. I was going yellow because I had my yellow earrings, and then this has blue and yellow. So that's where the yellow came from. We went a little crazy, but why not? So now I'm going to do um, some bronzer. I'm going to use my Sun Kiss bronzer here. You guys, I'm obsessed with this. It is so bomb. I'm going to use this little brush that I got. This came in the pharmacy brush set as well. And just go over right where we did that contour. Thank you, Jamie. Oh, that's so sweet. I admire you, girl. Just trying to be myself and also, you know, share love and spread um, kindness. And I am not perfect. I have my moments. I have my days where I can be a better person for sure. But... We all need to work on ourselves and reflect and grow as people. And I want to be a good role model to my kids and teach them how to be good people, you know? That's our job. So that's that. Thanks, Janice. You know, I, I've had this outfit for a long time and I've only worn it a couple times. So I just got out of the shower before I hopped on here and I'm like, let me just grab something quick and throw it on. So here we are. All right, we're looking bronze, we're looking lively. Here we go, looking a little snatched. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, I cracked myself up, you guys. I, I don't know what to do with myself. Okay, so now we're gonna do blush. And I'm going to, lately I've been using the um, peach blossom blush, the tender peach blossom blossom blush. I, that's like, say that five times fast. Peach Blossom Blush. It's like a tongue twister. Okay, so I'm going to use this blush today. This is in our 3-in-1 um, face palette. Yes, thanks, boo. Okay, so I'm going to use this as a Real te Techniques blush brush. You guys, I can't talk today. And I'm just going to put some of that on my brush. And I'm going to work it up a little bit above that bronzer that we just put on. Cute, cute. She cute. <laughs> Yes, honestly, this is my first time using this color, I think. I think I used it as like an eyeshadow. Yes, Jamie. She said we all have less than great days. What matters is that we try to do and be better the next day. That is very true. Very, very true. Because we are all human. We all make mistakes. But we need to learn from those mistakes and grow. Um... So yeah, I just put the blush there and there, and then I put a little on my nose, and then a little on my chin and on my forehead, because I'm extra and I just can't help myself. It is what it is. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to do, what am I going to do next? What, what's next, guys? I don't know. Okay, so now I'm going to do my highlight. Hmm, should I do the, yeah, I know what I'm going to use. The terracotta um, highlighting powder because I'm obsessed. You guys, when I t I'm not just preaching here that these products are amazing. They literally are amazing. Like, they're affordable and quality. So I put a little bit on my nose. And I've been, use I've been doing my makeup for a long time. I know, like, products. I would be in Sephora and Ulta, like, all the time. I have a, like four drawers here filled with high-end makeup and this stuff is just it, it's taken everything so like I said I'm extra and I like to put it everywhere I, I could probably just paint my entire face with this and look like a glazed donut but it you don't need to put this much on you, I just put it when you kind of like move your head, you can see like where the light hits. And that's where you should put your highlighter. Yes, the ingredients, girl, these are um, like all clean. In, like the ingredients are top notch. These, this is a UK company. Um, and so their standards are much higher than the US. So they make sure that the, like the ingredients that are going in here are safe and are good for you. Gluten-free, yep. Um, so, yeah, it's just, 
I'm really happy with everything that I have and I'm gonna be putting in a bulk order again at the beginning of the month is it vegan I believe so oh most of our products are um, we do have an ingredients list on our um, website but a lot of our products are really good and that's that so now I need to do my eye mascara and I've been using this um, Zen mascara a lot. I'm obsessed with it. Sorry, I don't want to like stab myself in the eye while I do this. So, hey Amanda. Hey girl. Hey, what are you doing today? Where's my Benny Boo? What's he doing? So yeah, like I was saying, I'm going to put in a bulk order soon. So if anybody's local and they want to order, um, I'm going to be placing that next week. Going to get some tacos. Okay, yeah, Janice did confirm just now. They are, um, all the products are vegan. Vegan, gluten-free paraben free all that good stuff um so yeah you guys just let me know if you want to order anything from me otherwise my site is linked here um you can go on there and order from there if you're interested in the business you guys it's twenty dollars what does twenty dollars buy you oh like twenty dollars is twenty dollars you can start a business with $20. If you don't want to work the business, okay, that's fine. You get everything 50% off. What? What? This is $9 normally. That's very affordable. But you get 50% off of that. And everything that you sell, you get 50% commission. When I tell you this is life-changing, I'm not, I'm not playing. Thanks, boo. Thank you. Thanks for the love. Okay, you guys don't need to put this many layers on. I'm just, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just keep going. <laughs> um, so that's our Zen mascara. I'm going to use our little, um, I'm going to just let that dry for a second. And then I'm going to put a little bit of this on my lower lash. Show a, clo a close-up of the brush. Okay. So this is the brush. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it very well. Hold on. So this is the Zen Mascara brush. We do have other options, but I've been using this and loving it. It just, I don't know. And for the price, it's $9. You can get it for 50% off if you join for $20. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put some of this on my lower lash line. And I like to go side to side. You're always on the search for a better mascara. Well, we have a lot of options. Um, this one is great. I mean, literally, this is like a top seller. A lot of the beauty influencers with pharmacy are um, hardcore Zen fans. Um, I do know that we have um, a couple other ones that the ladies have been talking about a lot lately. I have to try them. Um, but I do really like this one. And honestly... Mascara is hard for me because I feel like I always get like the flaky weird stuff after a while but this one does not flake and this doesn't necessarily say waterproof but in my opinion it's waterproof at least water resistant like it literally will last me all day long it does not like it does not leak or anything yeah yes Jamie I'm telling you girl this is affordable and good these are good products i'm not like gonna sell you guys shit that i don't like because then i feel like who am i my credibility then is out the window hey michelle hey cassie thank you guys for watching what are you guys up to today so i'm almost done here but i'm just showing you guys um what i like to do so Sometimes I'm on the bottom for me because my lashes are sometimes weird. It gets maybe a little bit clumpy. 
But I have my secret tool if I can find it. I have this little, I like to call it a rake. Hi, Cassie. I'm doing okay. Um, it's been kind of an up and down day. If you, when I'm off of here, you can watch like the replay of my um, video. Hey, Michelle. I love you and I miss you, girl. Um, you can watch the replay of my earlier video I or the beginning of the video I kind of went on a little bit of a rant yay Jamie please do I would be happy to help you okay you guys I'm sorry I'm just like trying to find this little tool but I can't find it I usually use this like little rake thing that like rakes through my um lashes but whatever I can't find it <laughs> um what are you guys up to today so I'm almost done here. My kids are still napping, you guys. I might have a little free time to chill for a minute. I think my husband came home so we can just relax on the couch for a minute and hang out. I feel like him and I don't really get a lot of one-on-one -on -one alone time unless it's like after 9.30 and then he falls asleep by like 11, so. It is what it is. That's life, you know? I'm just using this little like eye, eyebrow spoolie to kind of brush my um. All right. So that's pretty much it. Now I'm gonna just do lips and we'll be done. I've been rambling on. I don't know how long this video is, but I've been rambling. <laughs> um. Okay. So first I'm gonna do a lip liner. We'll use this shade is 220. And I like to um. So on my lower lip. I just kind of follow along and then up top I overline it just a tad. And this also just helps keep your um, lipstick in place. Oh, you're avoiding. <laughs> How are you liking your new job? Hey, John. You're hopping on with another account, I see. Or is this the same one you were on earlier? You guys, my brother is so awesome. I have a twin brother, if you didn't know that. And I'm four minutes older, and I will tell you that until forever, John. I'm your older sister. <laughs> Okay, so I don't, I'm not doing like the greatest job because I'm literally just looking in the camera here. Let me just look in this mirror real quick. Okay. Jamie, how are you liking your new job? Okay, so now I'm just gonna do like a little pink shade. Which one should I use? This one? No, this one. Here we go. All right, so for the most part, we're done here. Um, if you guys do have questions, oh, I forgot to add a little bit of highlighter to my um, brow bone. If you guys have any questions, please message me. I'm happy to answer any questions or if you wanna try anything, let me know. Um, I'm adding just a little bit of highlighter to my brow bone here and then I'll put some in my inner corner. Thank you, Cassie, you're so sweet. I try, girl. I'm just winging it, man. I don't... <laughs> I don't know what's going on. And then I, I'm gonna put a little bit of um, this lip plumper just to add a little shine to my lips. This is, I really like this stuff. It's pink now, it used to be clear, but I always put it on top of this pink. It tastes kind of minty and I like that. I know, <laughs> maybe that's weird, whatever. Um, <clears throat> Oh, that's awesome, Jamie. I'm so happy for you. I feel like you're just doing your thing, and that's great. 
Um, so now I'm just going to use this Time Locker spray as a setting spray. And that's it. Um, that's it. Do you guys have any questions? Let me know. Um, oh, one other thing I'm going to show you guys because I'm wearing like a top kind of like this. Not that I'm going anywhere, but I'm going to show you what I would do, like, say I was going somewhere. The other day, I did have my photos taken with the family at the Sunflower um, Field. Thanks, Jamie. That was from your suggestion. I was following that um, group. So I'll take some highlighter here, and I'll kind of go along the bone right here and right here. And that just adds a little bit of a pop, but also, like, I don't know. I just feel like it adds a little shine. And then I'll put some on my shoulder here too. And you can do this, not necessarily, you don't have to be wearing a top like this to do this. You can be wearing a tank top or whatever. But if you have like any skin showing there, I like to just do that to add a little bit of a extra pop. Here we go. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you have any questions, please message me. Um, my Facebook business page is Izzy Rock Beauty. Follow me there. Like my page. Um, Instagram is Izzy Rock. I appreciate your guys' support and love. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.